Hey, my friends, what is going on? And we are live. Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome to the live show, everyone. Tonight, 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 we are doing the largest EMS giveaway in our history, my friends. Come on in, come on in. This is it tonight, our live show, our live event. Give me a hashtag EMS. Give me a hashtag NREMT. Give me a hashtag let's go. In the comments down below, we're giving away not one, not two, three total Litman scopes tonight, my friends. Let's go. Who's excited? Who's pumped? And as you're coming in here, inside this piece of paper right here, right here, are the three winners. Right here, inside this small little card. <laughs> Let's do it, everybody. I'm so excited to be live again. I miss you guys. I miss you guys, you know? And, um, you know, we got a lot going on tonight. A lot to share with you guys. Um, and I got a few announcements. And here's going to be uh, the lay of the land uh, with the show tonight. So, number one, tonight, at this show right now, we're giving away these three scopes, and someone's getting a $600 grant. Let's go. Okay? So, that is going down tonight. Number one. Okay? Now, number two, I have a total of four, four EMS scenarios that I want to deliver to you as part of our live show to help you out with your education. We're going to be going through it here on the whiteboard, okay? Now, first, I just want to go through quickly the scopes that we have and exactly what the winner is going to get, okay? That's number one. Number two, we're going to be doing the first two scenarios. The first two, how many? Two. The first two scenarios here on the live call on the whiteboard right here, okay? Now, if you're new to these live streams, if you've never been on a live stream before, I want you to use the chat function, whether you're on Facebook or whether you're on YouTube. And what I want you to do is when I give you the EMS scenario, when I give you the EMS question, hold, hold on. And then when I say fire your answers, when I say go and fire your answers, I want you to fire your answers. So that is uh, the second piece of the night. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm then going to announce our third place winner, our second place winner at our halftime show on the live call here tonight. Our little halftime, our little intermission. I'm gonna announce third place, which is right here, the Littman Classic 3 Scope. Now, I'll just open this up and show you guys. You can see it here, okay? There it is, beautiful scope. Now, if you're wondering, I recommend every single one of these scopes for EMS. Just if you're wondering. Um, hey, I mean, like, do you recommend these? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I only give away stuff. I only promote stuff that I've actually either used uh, use myself or, um, again, so many people have used it around me that I'm like, man, this is really good stuff. And I've, I've at least tried it out, okay? Um, what I can tell you is whether it's the master edition or the normal edition, these scopes are amazing. I'll be coming out on some uh, product reviews on these as well, going like more in depth on these two. So here's second place. That will be at the halftime show, the master classic. I'm going to just pop that open as well. I can open it up here. Here we go. So here, this is a beautiful scope, uh, master classic. So you can see it there. Okay. And then the big, big grand prize winner of the night is going to win $600 plus the Littman Cardiology 4, which, you know, I know is a master cardiology. That's a great scope. But this uh, Cardiology 4 here is a hell of a scope. Here it is. I'm going to pop it open as well. And this is the grand prize winner right here. For, and these are all... Right there, okay, plus $600. Now, first things first that we gotta do here, just got some big announcements for you guys, and I wanna go through some real quick, 
Again, my friends, the randomizer on YouTube. Again, you gotta be subscribed to the YouTube channel and you gotta comment on the videos to make sure you're in, right? If you're not subscribed, if you don't comment, if you don't like, it, you will not show up in the randomizer. That's how the software works, okay? So it is right here, the three winners. At halftime, we're announcing third and second. At the end of the show, as our finale, I'll be announcing the grand prize winner, okay? And if you haven't noticed, my friends, these giveaways get bigger and bigger and bigger. If you're new to the paramedic coach, my name's Evan. Um, I've been a paramedic uh, since, what, 20, 2013. I started EMS in 2011. I started this YouTube channel uh, back in 2016. And this year, we've been going all in here uh, on YouTube. It's been an amazing year. And I thank all of you here for watching, the likes, the comments, support. My friends, with my course, my video course, we've gotten people in the thousands to pass their national registry, to prepare for school, and to get ready for the school exams. I mean, it's been an incredible, incredible experience. And I want to personally, live here on the call, thank all of you here for all the subscribes. We're up to 45,000 followers on TikTok, 13,000 on YouTube. My friends are maxed out on Facebook. I get so many requests from all of you. Um, man, I, I'm so humbled, and I, I thank all of you so much, really, from the bottom of my heart, because um, this is what I love to do, and I, I thank you guys for that. Thank you very much um, for supporting me here. And believe me, this is just the beginning, my friends. I have literally books and notebooks of everything right over there, what we're going to be doing next month, month as a month, it's only getting bigger. So this is where we're at. Now, uh, I do want to mention one thing briefly before we go into our first scenario of the night. With my video course, okay, if you don't know, the, I'll put the link is in the description. Um, you get access. It was 160 plus videos. Now, what I've done over the last week is I sat down, I put pen and paper, and I've actually added 22 new videos to the course, okay? And they're underneath the EMS Medications Mastery section. I believe I've compiled the most detailed, the most complete EMS Medications list. And what I do is I get here in front of the whiteboard, and you know the members that are in there now, they've seen the videos. I go through and do a drug card on every single EMS medication. Um, we're up to 44 EMS medications, which is the whole bag of any med you might see, um, whether it's advanced EMT, medic school, and of course uh, the EMT drugs. So I want to let you know, we're now up to, you get 180 videos of content from EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, plus you get access to me as your coach, plus the community group where you can ask me questions as your coach, and you get lifetime access for only $49.97. I've added 22 new videos. I have not increased the price, my friends. I have not increased the price. It's something that I want to add for a long time, but I want to make it right. And I, I'm being completely honest with you. I feel now that the library of videos that we have and the way that it flows, I feel that without a doubt, um, this is the most complete video course on the face of the world. Um, as far as EMS, I really do. And it's not me saying that it's a result I'm getting from my members. Um, I have so many results from this program. I couldn't even post them off. I try I have a folder full of reviews and results. Um, and again, my friends, I'm so humbled and I thank you for all that. I really do. Um, we'll talk more about that later on, but first let's dive in to our first scenario of the night. And then we're going to give away our third and second place winner. You ready? Here we go, my friends. Now, when we do these scenarios, I'm going to give you A, a B, a C, and a D, like a test, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to buzz in, okay? I want you to buzz in when I say go. So if this is your first live, I want you to use the chat function, whether you're on Facebook or whether you are on and move the uh, people here. Whether you're on Facebook or you're on YouTube, I want you to use the chat function. When I say fire answers, when I say go, I want you to put your answer, whether it's A, B, C, or D in the chat, 
Let's explode this chat so everyone can see this live right here. Okay, now, first scenario of the night, you ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Okay, my friends, you have a 56 year old male patient. Okay, 56 year old male patient. This patient is found unresponsive. So we have an unresponsive 56-year-old male patient, okay? I'm going to give you an A, B, C, D. Hang on. Okay. Okay. There are two bystanders on, on scene, okay? So you have two bystanders. The respiratory rate is 6. Okay. You see blood and vomit from the sides of the airway. Okay. So you have blood and vomit on the sides of the airway. Okay. Here's our patient. We have a 56-year-old male patient who's unresponsive. You see a little blood and vomit coming out of the sides of the airway. This patient is currently laying supine. Okay on the concrete outside, okay? We have two bystanders that saw the patient collapse, and then here's your patient. My question to you is what is the next best step in the management of this patient? What is the exact thing you should do next? You should do first. Now, this is how National Registry, if you're studying for National Registry, um, does their questions, but not only that, this is what you got to do out in the field. So what, before I get to the ABCD, what I always tell my students is you can visualize this call. So those of you out there that say maybe you're more, uh, you're a, a hands-on learner, okay? And you want to get your, you need to get your hands dirty to understand things. I want you to, I want you to visualize the scene as if you were there and you were moving the parts and you were moving the patients. Okay, moving the equipment, right? Give yourself that visual of the scene as well. Obviously, it helps your visual learner too. But that helped me so much back when I was doing these tests and exams. Okay, so I pass it off to you. Now, here's our A, B, C, D. The question is, what will you do next? Okay, I'll tell you when to buzz in, so stand by. Okay, so I'm going to write them out. Give me two seconds. Okay, my friends, here we go. We have A is BVM ventilations. So the net, if you answer that, the next step would be that. We have 15, 15 liters per minute with a non-breather mask. We have open the airway with a head tilt chin lift. And over here we have suction the airway. Is it A, B, C, or D? This patient was seen falling, hitting the concrete, is now supine. Blood vomit in the airway, respiration six, unresponsive. Ready, set, fire those answers. Go, 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 and fire, fire those answers. Let me see, A, B, C, D, what do you have? Put them in the comments down below, let's go. What do you got, what do you got, what do you got? I'm gonna do shout outs while you're doing this, okay? We have on the live stream right now, let me see, I'm gonna go through. Let me go through, let me go through, let me go through, let me go through. Okay, here we go. We got Brittany, we got Scott, we got Hunter, we got Charlie, Trisha, Jesse, we got Bill. Bill, what's up, my man? We got Jen, we got um, Ben, Liza, Stefan, Scott, Trisha, Scott, Kendall, Colleen, Scott, Jordan, Sam, Travis, the family man, 808. Uh, we got Charlie, we got uh, Clow. I believe you, that was the, we spoke on uh, comments. Do you're a BSN student, my friend? Hey, uh, keep, keep up the good work, my friend. Um, DeMarcus, Scott, uh, Kamaya Biggs, 
uh, is Roy Mendez, Daniel Pabon, Inner Circle member. What's going on? Colleen Dillon, I believe you're also an Inner Circle member. Oh, uh, Wayne, Ian, uh, Scott, Tegan, Scott. Oh, uh, we got uh, Go Exotics. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Colleen, Tiffany, um, Larry says you're the man. I think another Inner Circle member. Larry, what's going on? Um, Selena, uh, Selena, uh, looks like Veda, Veda Squez or, or Vasquez. I just can't read the whole thing on the screen. I think it's Veda Squez, I think it is. But uh, Selena, what's up? Oh, uh, Shauna, Scott, Tiffany, Scott. Last well, Scott. Scott, you're over the place, my man. Let's go. <laughs> we got Jordan. Uh, we got Zara Adams. Scott is in there. Scott, you're out you're right there, my man. Dante, Michael Long, Michael Long, Natty. Uh, Natasha, Natasha, Inner Circle member. Natasha, what's up? Uh, Alejandro, Rob. Rob has been a long-term member. What's up? Judy, another long-term member. Judy, what's up? Dante Sunday, Trenton, Ian, Alejandro, Mandy, Roberto123, Cameron Parker, Natasha again, Jordan, uh, Jasmine, Michael, Stephanie, Michael. Hey, a lot of, a lot of members here. A lot of members here. Um, Mayreek, Jesse, Monica, Shauna, Colleen. Rob again. Uh, let's see here. We got um, T1, T1010, Faith. Faith, what's going on? Faith from Facebook, Faith. You've been a, um, a big support. Thank you for everything you've been uh, doing with the support of what I do. Thank you. Um, Dante, Alejandro, Brittany, Andrea, what's up? Tyler, Jessica, Vanessa, Michael, Chaz, Ian. Ian, one of our new members. Ian, what's up, my man? Hope you're doing well. Uh, we got Carl. Carl, what's going on? Brandon, Tricia, Storm, Karen, uh, Kylie, Sam, Victor, Larry, Cameron. We got a lot there. I, I think we got a lot there. If I missed you, I want a lot. <laughs> uh, I'll do. A, I'm going to do a few more. Janet, Ryan, Chris, Ian, Connor Amato from TikTok. Let's go, my man. What's up, man? Uh, Christian, Janet, Rob, Cloud, Kenny, Hunter, Michael, Millie, Millie. And Eric V in the house, Carl, Tammy, Scott, uh, Severo, Sarah, Monica, Felicia, uh, Felicity, and Sherry. Okay. Woo! We're rolling. Let's go. Give me a hashtag, NREMT, and give me a hashtag. Let's go in the comments down below. Love you all. We got 122 people between Facebook and YouTube on this live at least, and hope you guys are doing well. Now, here we go. The answer to this question I made this question sneaky for a reason. I'm trying to get a point across here, okay? I'm gonna come a little closer so you can hear me. I made this question a little sneaky for a reason because this is what the National Registry is gonna do to you when you're on National Registry. I know a lot of you follow me. Maybe you're in my National Registry prep course. Again, the link is in the description, prepareforems.com. You can see it in the description on YouTube or Facebook. And this is how National Registry answers your questions, right? So. Our patient here, we know from the respiratory rate they need to be ventilated. So this patient is your perfect BVM patient. But we got blood or vomit in the airway. So remember the remember how we do the mnemonic. First, we got to open the airway. That's the first step. Then we got to, is it is it clear or not clear? So suction or no suction. Then we got to put an adjunct. Then we got to ventilate. So the next best step in the management of this patient is we can't ventilate yet because I didn't, it's not A, because we haven't done anything yet. He's just supine on the floor and we just walked up. So it can't be A because it's the next best step. And again, this is how National Registry does his questions. Now, 15 liters per minute of O2 on our breather, this man needs to be ventilated. And we're not going to give him oxygen. That's not going to help him. So that, that, that ain't happening. So now... Do we do a head tilt chin lift, open the airway, or do we suction the airway? And this is where National Registry is. I want to give you this one because it makes you think, well, I need to open the airway to suction, but it's saying do a head tilt chin lift, and this man is a fall victim. He's a trauma patient. So it should be a jaw thrust, but I don't see jaw thrust. So the best step in the measurement, the next best step in the management of this patient is actually gonna be D, suction the airway, right? Now, if you said open the airway, you're right, but this is a jaw thrust maneuver. This is a trauma patient that fell, witnessed fall on the concrete, and now he's got blood coming out of his mouth. You see where I'm going with that? 
But this is how National Russia does it, right? Now, with this real quick, I want to give you a mnemonic that you can remember for airway. So when you're out in the streets, I gave you the registry tip, and now I'm going to give you the street tip. This is what I tell all my students. And I'm going to give you a, you know, I call it a pearl, I call it a tip. I'm going to give you some advice, okay, what you want to call it. This is my airway mnemonic, okay? Here it is, okay? I'm just going to draw it out for you. Oops. Get a new marker. So here's the airway mnemonic, okay? So we have four steps. How many steps? Four steps, okay? Four steps. We have four steps to ventilate our patients, okay? So here's our patient supine. There is blood and vomit in the airway. What do we got to do first? First, we got to open. So opens first. Now, are we at a medical call or a trauma call? Well, this was a trauma call. So we're going to do a jaw thrust. Okay? So I'm going to do a jaw T. Okay? Now, medical, head tilt, chin lift. Okay, got it. So now we open, well, next thing we got to do is we got to say, is it clear or not clear? So now we got to go here and we're going to suction. Or if it's clear, we open, we can say, okay, nothing, it's clear. We can go to the next step. So are we going to suction or not? Okay. Then where we go from there? Well, now we got to put an adjunct in. Are we putting in an OPA or an NPA? Okay. And finally, we got to ventilate, right? So you think about it, this opens the airway, this clears the airway, this keeps the airway patent, and then finally, this down here is how we ventilate, which is the whole goal of opening the airway and suctioning and everything. We've got to ventilate, we need oxygen and carbon dioxide to, to make a switch, right? That's what we got to do. So remember, it's open, clear, keep, Ventilate. If you want, say it with me. We're going to open. We're going to clear. We're going to keep. And then we're going to ventilate. Open, clear. And we're going to keep. Then we're going to ventilate. One, two, three, four. There it is. Okay? So that's my little airway, little reminder. Okay? So you go to an airway call. Okay, my friends. You know, we got, we got, okay, we got to open. Okay, what are we doing now? Oh, we gotta clear. What are we doing now? We gotta keep. And now we gotta ventilate. Okay, well, we did it. That, that, keep that in your head. Okay, that works. All right, now, hashtag let's go. Let's go. We got Nicole Moldenhauer on the call. Let's go. Nicole, thank you for all the kind words and shout outs. I've seen your comments. Thank you so much for all the kind words. You're a big supporter of what I do, and I thank you. Um, we got Mason Don. We got Brittany. We got Cameron. What's up? All right, my friends. I'm going to do the second scenario, and then we are going to announce our third place and our second place winner. Let's go. All right, here we go. Now, we're going to dive in to our next scenario. It's a pediatric call out, 911. You can call it a hot response. Here we go. You have here a pediatric call. I'm going to put the label first. So it's pediatric, okay? So let's think about that. Pediatric. Oh, this, is the, this is the dull marker. I'm going to get rid of this guy. Yeah. All right. Here's a good one. So we got a pediatric patient. Okay. Okay. Now, this pediatric patient is having a hard time breathing. Okay. The patient is seven years old. So, again, my friends, uh, close your eyes. Visualize the patient. I'm going to say it aloud. We have a seven-year-old female. Patient is found lying in bed, woke up in the middle of the night, difficulty breathing. Okay, got it. I got it. I can see it. All right, got it. Now, let's move on. Let me give you some more information. 
as you approach, you hear Strider. And the patient has a drool, is drooling. Right? Has a hard time swallowing. Okay. Now, based on this information that I've given you, I'm going to give you A, B, C, D, and I want you to tell me what you think is going on with this patient. Okay, now hold off. Don't put any of the comments yet, okay? Hang on. All right, my friends, here we go. Here's what we got. We have a seven-year-old female patient who was woken up from her sleep, okay? Difficulty breathing, difficulty swallowing, strider. Is it A, asthma, B, croup, C, bronchiolitis, D, epiglottitis? Ready, set, fire those answers, let's go. Fire those answers, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Fire those answers. A, B, C, or D. A seven-year-old female with strider, drooling, swallowing problem, breathing problem, seven years old, woke up out of the middle of the night, asthma, croup, bronchiolitis, epiglottitis. What do you got? What do you got, my friends? Okay. We're gonna go back to shout outs here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shout outs. Here we go. Some shout outs here for the people here that are on the live. Who's on the live? I have too much fun, these last guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Millie Millie, Epi Baby Ian. Uh, we got uh, Carl, Cricket505. Uh, we got Evan. We got, and another Evan. Another Evan. Let's go. All right. I like that. We got 133 people on the live cast. Let's go, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Invite a friend. Invite a coworker. This is EMS Live. Let's go, everybody. Uh, we got Joe. Joe, thank you for the email, brother. Uh, that was to thank you for the kind words about what I do. Thank you for being a subscriber here, and I look forward to seeing you in the program. Uh, Millie, Millie, we got Rob. Uh, uh, let's see, Israel, uh, Israel, Israeli. Israeli, I believe. Hope oh, I'm saying it right, guys. I'm bad names. Israeli, Samantha, Alejandro, Cameron. We have Guillermo on the live. Kenny, Michael, Life as Vanessa on the live. Uh, Michael, uh, Camilla. We got, um, ha, I like, I like um, this one. Um, why is it? Is it, I see a Henry as a last name. Um, Alina. I think it's Alina, I think it is. Alina says, y'all didn't listen to the instructions. Shake my hand. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You get, you get a shout out there, my friend. Uh, Felicity, Ian, uh, Eric. Eric, what's up? Uh, Millie Millie again. Amanda, Amanda Middleton, James, Ian, Judy, Judy Morgan, a longtime member of the paramedic coach. Michael, Sherry, Courtney, Ben, Brittany Carter, uh, Jira Hernandez, Ashley Duran. Ashley, thank you for all the kind words. I've seen all your comments. Thank you so much for all support and spreading the word about what I do. Much appreciated. Thanks for being on here on the lives. Uh, Taylor, Tiffany Collins, Tiffany, another big supporter. Tiffany, thanks for the kind words about what I do as well. Robert Storm, uh, Jen Wright, Jonathan, Sam. I'm going to do a few more random ones here. I, Vegas represents um, Hunter, Jen, Millie Millie, Mandy, Joe again. Um, Chris, Tiffany, Rayan Futch, Rayan Futch, let's go, Rayan. Um, Rayan, thank you for the kind words. Uh, always shouting out what I do. You've been a longtime member of the Paramedic Coach. Thanks for being live here tonight, my friend. Um, Nicole, Dante, Travis, uh, Colleen, a big shout out to you too as well, Colleen, Dylan. Colleen, thank you for all shout outs on what I do. I've seen you in the groups, I've seen you. Um, thank you for spreading the word about what I do. It means so much to me. Thank you, my friend. Um, and thanks for being a member of the paramedic coach. 
all of you guys, a lot, a lot of members on tonight, which I like to see as well. And a lot of new faces. Like, um, you know, I mean, some people, I, I don't see their username, so I'm assuming these are new faces, right? Um, we got Mr. Cowell. We got Claw, Monica, Evelyn. I'm trying to see. Sherry Freeman says, I'm awesome. Sherry, no, you're awesome because you're on the live. Thanks for being here. Jordan, now this is what I like to see. Jordan Playtech. Here we go. Love YouTube and TikTok. Dude, I love you, man. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Karen, Michael, Ian, Rand, Futch, Dante, Chris Montez, Kylie, and we're going to dive into it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, one more. We got another another big uh, supporter there, Shauna Lynn. Thank you, Shauna Lynn and Lore. And we have supporting from New Mexico. We got, um, it's like, uh, Jose. I hope I'm saying it right. Chris, Selena, Travis. Here we go. Now, here's the answer. You want to learn something tonight, guys? This is why I did this answer. Now, if you know epiglottitis, you got it right. It is epiglottitis. So D is the correct answer. Not asthma. Basically, this, what this came down to is, was it croup or epiglottitis? Now, there's two parts that gave it away. Here's what I want to share with you. And you can remember this on the field or on the exam. Croup is usually found, here we are, croup is usually found in only uh, young, young children. Now, it's not a, this is not a rule, but generally about two to five years old is going to be somebody who has croup, okay? So there have been adults with epiglottitis. The reason why, here it is. The reason why croup is more prevalent in people that are younger is that it's easier with their smaller airways to get it. Okay, epiglottitis can happen to anybody. So the first giveaway was that you had a seven-year-old. So if I was reading this question, and let's say for some reason I was on the fence between croup and epiglottitis, i go, oh, it's a seven-year-old. Huh. Next question, what do you got? Okay, so the older you get, the more you're going to lean epiglottitis. Now, the other thing is strider and epiglottitis, that goes hand in hand. The drooling and difficulty swallowing is epiglottitis in anybody. It could be an adult. It could be a pediatric. Epiglottitis is epiglottitis. We think about it as pediatric, but anyone can have it, even an adult patient. So if you go to an adult that woke up in the middle of the night and it has a fever and can't breathe and looks anxious and can't swallow, okay, and is drooling, that's that could be epiglottitis in them as well, okay? So great one here. You are ready? We're going to announce right now the third place, the second place winners. Let's go, everybody. Woo! I'm excited. Ah, oh, man. I love doing these lives, guys. I really do. I really do. I really do. And thanks, guys, for tuning in. Thank you, guys, for tuning in. Thank you for being a member of the Paramedic Coach. I know we're probably going to have some new members at the Paramedic Coach tonight. Remember, you get access to 180 videos, me as your coach, plus the community group. You get lifetime access. As we add more and more and more videos to the vaults, my friends, I may increase the price. Um, I just added 22 videos to the course. Um, my goal is to keep the course with lifetime access. My goal is to keep this course the best course, and I'm constantly updating it. Just add another 22 videos. So make sure you get in on it. I'm going to put the link down below uh, to the program. And my friends, uh, we're going to announce right now as I'm doing this um, our second and third place winner. Okay? Now, final thing, I, put the, I just put the link there uh, for my video prep course. There's three people. How many? There's three people that I recommend take action right now on that prep course. You can wait to the end of the live, okay? Uh, but it's in the description, but here it is. Number one, if you are somebody getting prepared for EMT school, advanced EMT school, or paramedic school, I highly recommend you take action on that. The number one easiest way to get ahead in school is to not be like everybody else and learn a subject for the first time when you're in class and you have a test two days later. That's what everybody else does. My goal with the paramedic coach is to get you prepared on the core concepts, the main concepts in school that you need to know to be a great EMT, 
Advanced EMTM Medic, before you even go in and give you a lifetime access to the whole thing. EMT, Advanced EMT Medic. Not like these other apps that have monthly payments and all this stuff. And most of the other stuff out there is for just National Registry Prep. What my program does, my friends, is you get access. This is why there's three people. You get access to 180 plus videos that takes you from the prep work to helping people in school, the second person, and to helping you for National Registry Prep. And I'm going to even add a fourth one. I have videos in there that help you on the job tips once you actually pass your National Registry with the course as well. I've made this course to be the ultimate resource. This course is not a, oh, maybe I'll get it. It's a, you need to get it. I highly recommend you get it. And this is my life's work. And I've put it at that web address right there, prepareforems.com. Make sure you grab that, support what I'm doing here, and get access to that program. It's changed the lives of thousands of EMS providers, and I'm constantly improving. I'm constantly in there making the best I can for you. So get access to it. And there it is, my friends. Who's ready to announce our third and second place winner? Let's go, everybody. Give me a hashtag. Let's go down below. Give me a hashtag. Let's go down below. We got third place. We got second place. Here we go. All right, my friends. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, my friends, it is time to announce our first winner of the night. Here we go. Our third place winner, third place, the bronze medal. Our third place winner, winner of the Littman Classic Three. By the way, any winner, uh, these scopes will be shipped out. If you're watching live or on the replay, maybe you don't see it. I'm going to try to get back to you all on YouTube and all that stuff. Um, these scopes will be shipped out on Monday. Okay, Monday to all of you who win, okay? Litman Classic 3. The winner is, here we go, third place winner. Here we go. I'm going to back up so you don't see. Okay, we have our third place winner from Crystal Emery, Crystal Emery, you are the winner of this Littman Classic 3, my friend. Crystal Emery, I'm going to write you in the chat. Make sure I have your name here. Crystal Emery, Crystal Emery, you are the winner. Let me get your name here. Crystal Emery, you have won third place. Third place winner. Hopefully she sees it. Um, you've won, you've won a Littman Classic 3. Everybody congratulate Crystal, our third place winner in the chat by giving her a hashtag congrats. Everyone say hashtag congrats. We see poor each other here. It's a positive space here for EMS. There is no negativity in the paramedic coach. All positive. Give Crystal a hashtag congrats. Let's do it. Now, my friends, I can see the next winner here. Okay, so this Litman Classic is being shout out to Crystal Emery, third place winner. Crystal Emery, congrats. Okay, my friends, we now have our second place winner. Give me a hashtag second place in the comments down below. Let's go, guys. Give me hashtag second place. I see a lot of congrats. I see a lot of congrats. I see a lot of congrats. Um, Congrats. Thank, now this is what I like to see. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I like to see. See how everyone's coming. See how everyone is coming together here. See how everyone is coming together here congratulating. This is what I like to see. Let's go, everybody. Come on. This is what I like to see. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of all of you. Thank you for being here as well. Second place winner is being announced right now. Are you ready? Give me a hashtag. Let's go. The winner. I got. I got her right here. The winner is Ressa or Risa. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Ressa Feinstein. Risa Feinstein. Risa Feinstein, you are the winner of this Litman Master Classic 2. Risa 
Feinstein or Ressa Feinstein. One, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I will get in touch with you. Congratulations, Ressa. Congratulations. So I'm going to put the name here. Correct, right? Ressa, congratulations. Hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but I'm going to spell it right. That would be nice. Ressa Feinstein, you've won. Second place. We have one more announcement, my friends. You've won second place. Littman uh, Classic 2. Okay, so Ressa or Crystal, if you're maybe you're not on the live, maybe you watch the replay, uh, either me or somebody on my team on the support will get in contact with you. Congrats. Everybody say hashtag congrats down below. And, guys, don't forget, we have two more scenarios, and then we're going to announce this Littman Cardiology 4, okay? And the $600 grant that goes along with it. My friends, here we go. We put the, the names away so it doesn't blow in the, in the wind, okay? All right. Next scenario. Here we go. You ready? Let's do this. Now, we have here, my friends, a 48-year-old female. A 48 year old female, chest pain, shortness of breath, respiratory rate comes back at 28. SpO2 comes back at 90%. Okay? The patient is found tripoding. Okay? So tripod position right in front of the couch. Okay? On the couch? Right in front of the couch. So basically, the tripod being sitting on the couch, the tripod position on the couch. Okay. Okay. Now, forty-year-old female, chest pain, shortness of breath, respirations twenty-eight, SpO two ninety percent. Found tripoding on the couch. Okay. Maybe A, B, C, D. Remember, guys. Wait till I say go. So shout out your answer, okay? And remember, there is no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong with these questions. This right here, like I tell my students when I do my weekly uh, inner circle lives, you know, inner circle members, what's up? Just like I tell my weekly inner circle members, this is a training ground. This is our training ground. You can be wrong here. It's okay. I want you to be wrong here. So when you have a patient in front of you, you're right. That's why I do what I do. So why I, I show up every day uh, to help you guys out. Okay, so let's do it. So, what is the next best step in the management of this patient? Okay, a forty-year-old female, chest pain, shortness of breath, respirations twenty-eight, SpO two ninety, tripoding on the couch. Let me give you some some different things here. Okay, here we go. Okay, my friends, here we go. Now, when I say go, fire those answers. What is the next best step in the management of this patient based on the information that I gave you? 48-year-old female, respiratory rate is 28, SpO2 is 90, tripoding on the couch, chest pain, shorts of breath. Is it A, BVM ventilations? Excuse me. Is it A, BVM ventilations at 15 liters per minute? Is it B? Nasal cannula at four liters per minute. Is it C, a amount of breather at 15 liters per minute? Or D, give her an albuterol neb at six liters per minute? Ready, set, go. Fire those answers. Fire, fire, fire those answers. Let's go. What do you got, guys? What is the correct answer? What do you got? Is it A, B, C, or D? What do you have? Okay, shout outs. We got Faith. Monica, Ian, Ashley, Karen, Scott. We got uh, Braden, Felicity, Mandy. Hey, Daniel Ska. Daniel, what's up, my man? Uh, we got Hunter. Hunter, paramedic coach member. Hunter, hope you're doing well. 
Uh, we got uh, Larry. We have Ryan Futch, Raul. We have Tammy. We have Sam. We have Jared. We have uh, Natty FC, Claw. We have Kristen Larson McHugh, a longtime paramedic coach member. Kristen, what's up? Um, you are awesome. Karen, we have Faith. We have Monica. We have Larry. We have Jonathan Frey. Jasmine, Jonathan, what's up? Jasmine, what's up? Alejandro, Christian. We have Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Eric V, Michael. We got a lot of members on tonight. Jen. Hey, Jen. Rob, we got a lot of members on tonight. Uh, James, Mandy, Brittany, Braden, Ian, Felicity, Natasha, uh, TT101, Kylie, Allen, um, Manuel, Carl, Roberto, Millie Millie, Jared, Jen, Jonathan. See, this is what I love, guys. Look at Alan here. Alan, I think Alan uh, Dorette, probably pronouncing it wrong, but hopefully I get it right. Um, congrats to all the winners. Come on, man. See, that's what I'm talking about, guys. You know, and I'm, I love to see that as well. I love to see that as well. Such positive atmosphere here. I love you guys. Yes. Um, Jasmine, Rob, Millie, Millie. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Now, Desiree is a first-time listener. Desiree, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel here, and I'm going to dive into the answer to this scenario. You guys ready? Uh, here we go. Now, 48-year-old female patient, respiratory rate is 28. SpO2 is 90%. Chest pain, shortness of breath. What do we do? Well, remember... When you are doing your national registry boards, okay, that's what I call them, your national registry boards, right? If you're taking your national registry exams, they sometimes do not give you all the information that you might want. If you'll notice these questions, I'm giving you just enough information for you to answer the question and dissect it, right? That's how they are on registry as well, okay? Now, check me out here, guys. Check me out. What is the two, how many? Two determining factors of this patient. Do we really care that her respiratory rate is only eight points high? Not really. That ain't gonna make a difference for me. So I'm not worried about this. Am I worried that she's 48? She's middle-aged. Okay, I'm not worried about that. What I'm doing, I'm crossing off information that isn't pertinent. Now she has chest pain. I don't see anything on here about aspirin or nitro or an EKG, right, or pain meds. So I'm not worried about that. Now, here's what I'm worried about based on the answers. She is short of breath, and she is tripodic, and she's at 90%. Sick or not sick? Sick, okay? Now, what do we do here? Now, the patient's tripoding on the couch at 90% and is short of breath. Does that appear like a time I'm going to whip out the BVM and start ventilating? No, that doesn't make any sense. So this is not correct. Now, here's a sneaky one. Here's a sneaky one. And this is what National Registry will do to you as well. So this is why you're here to learn. Is you might say... Give her a neb. Give her an albuterol nebulizer. That sounds like a good idea. But I didn't give you any lung sounds, my friends. I never gave you any lung sounds. And registry might not give you lung sounds either. You can't give somebody a neb without hearing lung sounds. What if it's what if it's bilateral rails? You know, like CH, what if it's CHF? And then you give an, a, a neb, that ain't good. So it's not, I didn't give you enough information to give a neb right? I only gave you enough information to treat her oxygen. And this is what I always say. National registry is based on simple. This is what I'm trying to highlight tonight. These simple things when pe people that are very smart, they might struggle at registry because they overthink it. Other people struggle at registry because they don't know the context. And that's why I have my course, my program is to make you as sharp as you can with the content. And then we do stuff like this to get you good at the questions. You combine the two together, knowing the national content with knowing how to answer the questions. That's how I've gotten thousands of people to pass. Okay? So that's how you do it. Okay? Now, are we doing a nasal? 
or a non breather. Here's why I'm going with a non breather. C is correct. C is correct. Because the patient's tripod. That shows me that the patient's sick. I'm, I'm not going to, oh, you're tripoding. Here's a nasal. Here you go. Right? That, that's crazy. You know, or you're tripoding, which means you, you have to manipulate your body in a position in order to feel like you're getting enough air. I'm pretty sure I can skip the nasal cannula and go down and breathe. So why did I bring this up? On National Registry, you want to look out for these words like sluggish, you know, like they're getting, they're getting tired, any of those buzzwords, right? Labored or the position or muscle use. That's the person that would get an arm breather. A nasal cannula is somebody with more mild symptoms. Maybe their SPO2 is just it's a little low. But there's no muscle use, no tripoding. But they say they're short. They're oh, I'm oh, I'm a little short of breath today. But they're still speaking in almost full sentence. There, we try that first. This patient, we don't have time to try anything. We got to go. There it is. Okay, my friends, we are going to do our final scenario here. It's going to be a good one. Here we go, and then we're going to dive in to our grand prize winner. Give me a hashtag NREMT and give me a hashtag let's go. If you're new here, I'm really uh, thrilled that you're here, number one. And number two, thanks so much for tuning in. We have 157 people on the live. If you're just tuning in, our third place winner was Crystal Emery. Our second place winner was Risa Feinstein, I believe. Okay, or Feinstein. I, I put it in the chat uh, there. Congrats to Crystal, who won a Littman Classic three, and Risa, who won a Littman Master Classic, two. We are still giving away the $600 education grant and the Littman Cardiology for Scope, okay? So welcome to the live, everybody. We have 157 people on this live right now. So thank you for tuning in. And again, my friends, if you're interested in my video course, if you like the, my style, if you like the way that I'm teaching tonight, uh, if you want to learn more, for these three people, if you're getting ready for school, if you are in school right now, or you're getting ready for National Registry, click the link, prepareforems.com, and get my video vault. You get access to me as your coach, our community group, plus 180 videos of my best content. If you think the content on my YouTube is great, when you get in the course, you're going to be blown away. And I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that, okay? Um, but when I say it's in my life's work, this is my life's work, guys. I literally wake up in the morning, and I think about how I can help you. And I go to bed at night, think about how I can help you. I do not know, and I, I, I'll be honest with you. This might not be politically correct to say, but I'll say it. I don't know one man or one woman on this planet right now that is working as hard as I am right now to help you out. I'll say it. Some people might leave the live when I say that. That's fine. But I know the work level and the stuff that the, the, the work that I'm putting in to help you guys out. And that is my biggest goal here. My biggest goal here is to change the EMS education system right here from this YouTube channel. That's my goal. I want to decrease failure rates. Like I say in my video, that's my whole goal. Decrease failure rates. I believe that if you're an EMT, if you're an advanced EMT or a paramedic, that you should be able to get through school and pass your national boards. And quite frankly, um, I started this because I was sick of see seeing people, you know, make it through school or not make it through school and then fail. And that's why I'm doing this. And I thank you for being along for the ride. And thanks for all the followers and subscribers and all the members, the thousands of members in our paramedic coach group. Join us. Hit the link down below. Now, our final scenario here, okay? You ready? Here we go, my friends. You are called out to an 80-year-old male. Eighty-year-old male patient, okay? Patient's got a chief complaint of shortness of breath.
Okay? Denies chest pain, but has shortness of breath. Okay? Respiratory rate comes back at 30. SpO2, 88% on room air. Can you see it? Okay, good. 88% on room air. Okay. You get some lung sounds back. Lung sounds come back. You hear rails bilaterally. Okay, we have rails bilaterally in the lower bases. We have respiratory rate of 30. We have SpO2 at 88% in room air. An 80 year old male with shortness of breath wakes him up in the middle of the night. So this is a night call, okay? Wakes up in the middle of the night, okay? Now, seeing this right here, I'm gonna ask you, What's the next best step in the management of this patient? But I'm going to give you one more piece of info that you're going to need. Okay. Patient has muscle use, accessory muscle use. Okay. The patient is very, I'd say restless, restless. Okay. Very anxious and restless. Okay. What is the next best step in the management of this patient based on what I'm going to give you? Okay. Okay. Let me get my answers down and we're going to get to it. Okay, my friends, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and fire those answers. Go, go, go. Fire those answers. What do you got? Is it going to be A, aspirin 324, B, nitro 0.4, C, CPAP, or D, 15 liters per minute via non rebreather? What do you got? Put it in the comments down below. What? Are you going to do next with the information that you have right here? Go for it. What do you think? You're on the call. You're the medic. What do you think? We have 156 people on the live call. 160. We have 160. What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Um, and that's between YouTube and Facebook. 160 on the live. So we're getting a lot of answers here. A lot of answers here. A lot of answers here. And I'm doing this for a certain reason. You're going to see. Okay? Doing this for a certain reason. Okay? Got a lot of answers here. A lot of answers here. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Did I say chest pains? Nope, not aspirin. Now, we look at our patient. It's an 80 year old male, short of breath, respiration to 30, SPO 288%, lung sounds rails bilaterally, accessory muscle use restless. Okay. Am I going to, well, nitro, CPAP, not a breather? Now, this, in my opinion, is a scenario we need to take action on a life threat. And this question here is telling you a few things. This man has CHF that will come up in the middle of the night. So if you realize that, you get a great job. Now the question is, what do we do next for this patient? Okay. Well, 
I didn't give you a blood pressure. So it can't be nitro. Even though it sounds good, it can't be nitro. Okay? Can't be nitro. Okay? So do we go with now a breather or do we do CPAP? And here's the thing here. Looking at this gentleman and seeing his whole workup, I feel if we have CPAP in our arsenal, he's so sick. And we know we have bilateral rails confirmed with a low SpO2. That in this case, I'm going to skip over an hour breather because I have enough info to go with CPAP. You see what I'm saying here, guys? CPAP. There it is. Okay. Good job, guys. Everybody clap it up. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Good job, my friends. All right, my friends. It is time to give away our grand prize winner of the night. Give me a hashtag NREMT. Give me a hashtag NREMT right now in the comments if you're ready. I want to see every single person, all 156, 57, whatever it is, people on the live right now, give me a hashtag NREMT. We're giving away $600 plus this Littman Cardiology 4. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Let's do this. Now, my friends, I want to give you a quick recap. I, I, I got to see all my NREMTs in here. Hashtag NREMT. Slam that thing, all right? Now, if you don't know it's your first time here, we've had other winners, okay? Um, this year we've done, this is our fourth giveaway of the year we've done. Jackie Beck was our first ever giveaway winner. She won a Littman Cardiology 4. Emily Coleman was our second giveaway winner. She won a Littman Cardiology 4. Okay? We had another two winners on top of that win $600. This is actually our fifth giveaway. I, oh, my God. It is. That's crazy. I, I thought it was our fourth one. We did so many. <laughs> Oh, man, that's great. That's great, guys. Is that great or what? That's when you know you're having fun, right? Oh, that's great. So this is our fifth giveaway, okay, that we've done, okay? So it's, it's been an incredible, incredible, incredible roller coaster, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that, too, right? Our fifth giveaway of the year since April, okay? Let's go, okay? Like I say, my friends, the paramedic coach, from my members, to my students, to myself, practice what you preach, my friends, and I do. I show up here for you guys every single week, and I want to let you know one more thing before we announce the giveaway winner. Two things. It's going to help you out a lot, so check this out. On my YouTube channel, if you go to my main homepage, just type in the paramedic coach. You're on it right now. I've, I've organized my entire channel into playlists. Go through and watch those playlists, okay, in your downtime. You'll see all the sections there to watch, okay? I have career advice on a section. I've taken, I've, I told you, I told you about my, about my uh, notebooks. I write down information that you guys ask me. Um, I have a list of 20 different YouTube videos coming out in the next month or two just based on questions you've asked me in Messenger. Okay, um, I call it my frequently asked questions. Stay tuned to this YouTube channel and be here every single week and make sure we're going to be doing another giveaway by the end of the year. I'm going to announce it right here, right now. Our next giveaway that we do is going to be the largest, the biggest giveaway we've done. Because if you didn't notice, we make them bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, you know. So I'm doing a New Year's giveaway. I'm not going to announce what it's going to be or how it's going to be set up or what it is. But we've gone from one winner, one winner, one winner, one winner. Now we have three winners. Get ready for the New Year's giveaway. Okay? It's going to be around New Year's Eve. will be our next giveaway in this channel. You need to make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe because this right here is the number one YouTube channel in the world that is putting out the most content every single week on exactly what you want to know from EMT, advanced EMT, medic, 
And without further ado, let's go. Okay, here we go. Lipman Cardiology 4 plus $600 education grant from me to you, the paramedic coach. Here we go. All right, my friends, here we go. Here we go. Okay. My friends, you ready? Here it is. The winner of the $600 EMS grant and this right here, this Litman Cardiology 4 is Tyler Hovrath. Tyler Hovrath. Tyler Hovrath, you are the winner of this Litman Cardiology 4, my friend. Tyler Hovrath, you are the winner, my friend. I'm going to put you in the link in the description right now. Tyler Hovrath, you are the winner of first place, and you have won a $600 grant plus this Littman Cardiology. Let's go. Put in the comments, and bam. Everyone in the comments, say big congrats to our winners tonight. I'm gonna uh, just put them out loud here. We have, we have third place prize. If you're if you were new here and you had not seen, okay, let's go through them real quick. Our third place prize, Litman Classic. Third place prize, Litman Classic. Crystal Emery. Crystal Emery is a third place winner. Our second place winner of the night, Master Classic Two. Master Classic Two. Risa. Feinstein, Risa Feinstein. And our grand prize winner of the night for our fall giveaway, the paramedic coach, $600. Look at cardiology for is Tyler Hovrath. Tyler Hovrath. My friends, thank you so much for tuning in to our special event tonight. And before I go, my friends, this is just the beginning of what we do here at the paramedic coach. If you want to learn more, if you like the way that I do things here, I'm going to put the link down below. I want you to grab this gift I'm going to give to you, which is my video course and my coaching community. You can see the results. You can see the testimonials. If you're one of these three people, if you are getting ready for EMT, advanced EMT or medic school, if you're somebody right now in school who's struggling or wants to make the job easier, or you're getting ready for national registry, get this program. The link is in the description. You get lifetime access to the whole thing of 180 videos. And I'll leave you with this, my friends. This video course, this prepare for EMS.com, this paramedic coach course, or whatever you want to call it. It's not a want. It's not a should I get it. It's a I believe the entire EMS world should have this program. And if everyone had this program in their hands before they went to class, I feel that we would be able to finally decrease failure rates for these accelerated schools like EMT, advanced EMT, and paramedic. And this is why I do what I do every day. And my number one goal is to simply decrease failure rates. If you want to do that for yourself, help yourself out. I give you a gift here. Textbooks cost that are holding up this laptop right now cost hundreds of dollars. When's the last time you opened it up? Practice test questions are just assessment tools. That's not actually, all these apps, they're not actually studying. You take 100 practice questions, you don't do well. You take 100 more, you don't do well. The reason why is this. You need to study content of the five sections of registry to become competent in what you do. And I'm breaking these down in simple, concise videos with the course. I had one question I want to answer from earlier on, is if you get the course, the, are the eBooks and the MedMath Secrets PDFs included? Those are all separate. The videos or the video in the community, the books are separate. Um, most members grab the books too, but it's not required. Um, the video course is what you need to have. And my goal is to get that in your hands so you can become a confident and great EMS provider and help out your community. My friends, much love, and I will see you in the course. And I will see you on the air side. Much love. Peace.